So I've just been testing and hitting some putts with this ER2 model from Evenroll. Really, really nice looking putter and some really nice features which are going to hopefully help you hold a few more putts. You'll notice from the design that we get a slightly longer length from the leading edge to the trailing edge. And um, what that actually enables them to do is actually put this slightly extended alignment aid on there, this white line which sits nicely against the silver head. And that made that putter really quite nice and easy for me to align. I like the shape. We also get a couple of two, uh, two dots on top of the leading edge. And again, that's just helping you get that ball nicely in the center and helping you to strike that ball a little bit better. This putter has some really nice features when we come to look at the club face. The head itself is 100% milled. The milling process really enables the companies to get these products much tighter in terms of tolerances and actually get them a little bit sharper in the way they look. The club face is where we really see the difference between this putter and some of the other putters on the market. We have grooves, which have been seen on previous putters, but these grooves have got variable widths to them. So if we take a look at the middle of the club face, the grooves there are slightly wider compared to the grooves towards the heel and the toe. Now, what does that mean for you as the golfer out on the golf course? What it means is the energy transferred through to the golf ball is going to be different depending on where you hit on the putter face. Now, that might seem like a negative thing, but actually it's a positive thing because when we hit the ball from the centre, the ball's going to go a certain distance. But on this putter, when you start to hit towards the heel and the toe, the distance that the ball travels is extremely close to what it would be off the middle. So you can actually hit this ball slightly towards the heel, slightly towards the toe, and you don't lose any distance. And that's absolutely key to holding putts, because as I'm sure you're aware, distance control is such a big element when we're trying to get that ball either in the hole or close. We also find that if hitting the ball off the heel and the toe will actually create some slight gearing and actually help that ball come back to the center. So we're all trying to hit the ball from the middle of the putter, but often we don't. This putter is going to help you achieve a much better result and maybe even hold that putter when you do start to miss that centre. So a really, really nice feature and certainly in the testing we did today, I saw some great results. I hold a lot of putts. It feels fantastic. It looks fantastic. This is a putter I really, really like.